Here's how I can make this globe with speed lines here in Illustrator. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to the fill and the stroke, click on the fill, click on the none, click on the stroke, so it's gonna be on the top. I'm gonna to select the line tool and I'm gonna zoom in, press and hold shift and draw a line. I'm also gonna to go to the stroke, increase the thickness. I'm gonna make the cap rounded and I can go and draw some more lines, shorter ones, longer ones. I'm also gonna do another one under it you also can modify it, you can select the direct selection tool and just customize it. Now I'm also gonna go and select one of these lines as a reference, press and hold alt, drag it down, make sure to intersect. And I'm gonna press control D a lot of times to duplicate like so. So I'm gonna go back to the line, select the line tool and just start creating some more lines. The final result looks something like this. I'm gonna select all of it and let's go to the symbols. If you don't have it, you can go to the window and select symbols. And all you need to do is just drag and drop these stripes into the symbols. Click OK. Now you can delete this. I'm going to go to the fill and stroke. Let's swap it to fill. Click on the fill so it's going to be on the top. I'm also going to go and select a lighter color. And let's go and select the circle. Press and hold shift plus alt. Create a circle. I'm gonna select the direct selection tool and remove this anchor point, select it and press on delete. Now let's go to effect, 3D and materials. Let's go to 3D classic and select the revolve classic. And here I'm gonna go to the offset from and select a right edge. So now we got the globe. And let's go to the surface, select diffuse shading, click on the map art. And here we're gonna go to the symbol and let's change the symbol to the new symbol that we created and I'm gonna pull it on the left so it's gonna be visible. Probably gonna position something like that. I'm also gonna stretch it in a little bit more. There you go, click OK. And now let's go ahead and click on more options. And I'm gonna to need to change up the shading color. I'm gonna select custom and I'm gonna click on the color, change it to white, click OK. And from here, all you need to do is go to the light intensity, decrease it to zero. And we're gonna go to the ambient light and here you can adjust it. I'm gonna decrease it to zero. So this way it's gonna melt into the background. You also can go to the cube and rotate. I'm also gonna stretch it more. And pretty much that's it. Click OK. And this is how I make the spinning globe with speed lines here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.